Did you know that Saudi Arabia has unveiled its latest architectural marvel, the Mukab? This massive cube is so enormous that it can accommodate a mind-boggling 20 Empire State buildings within its confines. Described by Saudi Arabia as a gateway to another world, the Mukab boasts a mesmerizing holographic dome that promises to transport visitors to other planets and magical realms. But the big question on everyone's mind is whether the Mukab is just a clever viral marketing ploy or if it will actually become a reality. If it does, when can the public expect to experience this extraordinary creation? In this video, we'll explore all the fascinating details we currently have about the Mukab project. NEM Did you know that Saudi Arabia is a rich country in the Middle East famous for its large oil reserves? However, they want to rely less on oil and have a plan called Vision 2030. This plan includes big projects to move their economy away from oil and more towards tourism. One of the most massive projects in this plan is NEOM, which costs a whopping $1 trillion. It has a 170-kilometer long city called The Line, a floating city port called Octagon, and even a huge ski resort in the Arabian desert called Trojina. In January, the CEO of NEOM said that 20% of the city's infrastructure is already done. They've also partnered with big companies like Oracle and NVIDIA to set up advanced AI technology all over NEOM. And if you thought NEOM, The Line, Oxagon, and Trojina were impressive enough, there's a new project to talk about. The New Maraba District. Welcome to New Maraba. This cube is the latest addition to Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030. NEOM has been getting a lot of attention lately, but Saudi Arabia wants to focus on other major cities too. That's why they're building New Maraba in Riyadh, which is the capital of Saudi Arabia. Riyadh is already growing rapidly. 50 years ago, it was a small town with fewer than half a million people, but now it's a bustling city with over 7 million residents, making it the third largest city in the Middle East. According to Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the new Maraba project will transform Riyadh into the world's largest modern downtown area. This new district in Riyadh will take the city's growth to a whole new level. It will feature over 80 entertainment venues, numerous walking trails, a large museum, and at its heart, the colossal Mukab. Mukab means cube in Arabic, so the building will literally be called the cube. Saudi Arabia seems to have a thing for creating gigantic geometric shapes following projects like the Line and the Oxagon. The Mukab is described as the new face of Riyadh, its exterior is inspired by Nanti architecture, a traditional style with deep roots in Saudi Arabian culture. The building's beautiful surface will glisten in the sunlight, making it a dominant feature on Riyadh's skyline. The scale of this cube is truly breathtaking. At 400 meters tall, it qualifies as a super tall skyscraper. If placed in Dubai, it would be the fourth tallest building there. What sets the Mukab apart is its width. It's also 400 meters wide, completely dominating the skyline. To put it in perspective, you could fit 20 Empire State Buildings inside the Mukab. It would make other cube-shaped buildings around the world look small in comparison. Take the Berlin Cube, for instance, an eye-catching office block in Germany with mirrored sides, but it's only 40 meters tall. You could fit a thousand of these inside the Mukab. In terms of sheer volume, this cube could become the largest structure on Earth, surpassing the current record holder, the Boeing Everett factory in Washington. In fact, it's so massive that you could fit nearly five Boeing factories inside the cube. Inside the Mukab. But what will they do with all this space? Inside the Mukab cube, they want you to feel like you've stepped into a whole new world. Imagine a massive dome towering over you, displaying different virtual realities through holographic images. These images are supposed to transport visitors to different worlds, from the depths of the ocean to the surface of Mars, or even magical fantasy realms. It's all about giving you an immersive experience like nothing you've ever seen before. Right in the middle of the dome, there's a spiral tower that looks a bit like an anthill or a cluster of fungi stretching from the floor to the roof. This tower is going to be a special place for tourists from all around the world. It will have restaurants, hotel rooms, observation platforms, and even cinemas and theaters. The tower and dome will be surrounded by the massive cube, and the cube's four corners will also be filled with facilities, 
stacked up like skyscrapers. On top, they plan to have lakes, lawns, and trees. Now, whether it makes sense to have a lake up there or if it's even possible is another question. If you're enjoying this video so far, help us on our journey to 1 million subscribers by subscribing to our channel. The design of the Mucob. So, why did they make the Mucob in the shape of a cube? Well, according to the designers of the Mucob, the cube shape is the best for fitting in all the high-tech stuff needed to create the amazing experience they want. How exactly they'll show these virtual worlds isn't clear yet, but they need to hide all the technology between the bell jar dome and the outer cube. There also has to be strong beams and supports between the dome and the shell to hold up the gardens on top of the cube. The skyscraper light towers at each corner of the cube will help with support too. But whether all of this can support the world's largest roof and the garden on top is still a question. The cube design is also meant to make the Mucob stand out and be easily recognizable. It's like how the Eiffel Tower is in Paris or the Statue of Liberty in New York. When people see a picture of the cube, they'll instantly think of Riyadh. However, some folks have said the cube looks a bit like the Kaaba in Mecca, another city in Saudi Arabia. The Kaaba is the most sacred site in Islam, and Muslims around the world pray facing it. But others have said that the Berlin Cube in Germany doesn't get compared to the Kaaba, so why should the Mukab be any different? They've also pointed out that the Saudi leaders are Muslim, and they wouldn't intentionally make a building that looks like the Kaaba to offend anyone, so it's probably just a coincidence. In general, people are pretty excited and curious about the Mukab project, but they all have the same question. Will the Mucob be built? Will the Mucob actually be built? Construction hasn't started yet, but they plan to begin in the next few months. Saudi Arabia has said the project will open to the public in 2030, just like their other Vision 2030 projects, such as the Line, the Oxagon, and Trojina. Compared to the Line, this project is probably easier to accomplish, but it's still a massive undertaking. Even if they raise the money, there's a huge technological challenge. The holograms described in the Mucob's announcement don't exist yet, and creating them on the scale of the Mucob is a major hurdle. The giant lake on the roof also adds stress to the structure, and it needs to be super strong and waterproof. In other words, the cube faces significant challenges. Without enough money or the right technology, it might never get finished. We can't be sure what will happen, but it's shaping up to be an interesting couple of years. When 2030 finally arrives, the Mucob, the line and other groundbreaking projects might open their doors, or maybe they won't. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.